Well, you heard them yourself. You're watching the wrap-up, our final wrap-up of the season. It's been a long 12 weeks, and this is the final step before we make that long way into the playoffs. DJ and Brianna are going to be carrying you the rest of the way. But nonetheless, we start tonight in 2A. We've got every single matchup, and we start with Wellington and Gruber. Wellington, no stranger to the postseason, 2013 state champions. So we know that they've got experience as uh, Wade Williams has uh, taken them into the postseason plenty of times. Let's check out the highlights. Here we go, Wellington in the first quarter. Luke Williams. Looking for Andrew Rueda. Oh, we got to watch the cheerleaders for a moment there, though. Got to give some shine to the cheerleaders. But here's Rueda, and he's going to make a guy miss. Tough to bring down when you got Crisco all over you, but the ball hits the turf. Gruber recovers later in the first quarter. Gruber with the football. Cole Logsden looking for Creed Spivey, and that's a nice 45-yard gain. Then Jose Telez, touchdown, Wellington 7-0. The Skyrockets out in front, and they would go on to get the win. That was a little back and forth. Not really sure what our photog was doing there. But 49-7, to Wellington gets the win on that one. Let's go now to uh, to West Texas. Oh, sorry, I almost choked. West Texas side taking on Need New Deal. some water. Yeah, you would think I would know how to swallow my own spit at this point. Oh, okay. 28 years old. First Plus quarter. 6-0. West Texas high. Jackson Durham with the play action fake finds Jet Whitfield. And he turns on the Jets into the end zone from 40 yards out. They would go for two. Mark Adams going to get it across the goal line. That makes it 8-0. to zero. New deal out in front. Later on the ensuing drive, West Texas High would respond. Emilio Hernandez rolls left, finds the edge, and gets his way into the end zone. West Texas High out in front, 12-8. to eight. They, too, would go for two. And Jalen Conyers going to scramble left and find Nate Thompson. That would put West Texas High up 14-8, to but they would fall short in this one. New deal eliminates the Comanche 36-28, to the final. We'll take you to Crosby 10, playing at Canyon High School, taking on Vega. We'll open this up, and Tim Childers drops the rock in Vegas. Jarrett Glasscock <laughs> comes up with the fumble recovery. Then ensuing play, Tyler Long going to keep it himself. Slips his way past the defense, going to rumble it in for a 35-yard touchdown. Vega going up 7-0, to zero. then ensuing drive. Fourth Judges give him a 10 on the slide, too. Okay. Then ensuing drive, fourth and long, Ashton Morales. Flush out of the pocket. And he's going. He's able to pick up the first down. Then a few plays later, Childers. Finishes it off for the Chiefs to tie it up at seven in Crosby 10. Winning here 34 to 32. A very close game down there in Canyon. Well, it's taking out Abernathy playing Sunray. Go to the opening drive and quarterback Bryson Daly. Yeah, he's going to keep it. And he's going to go. On a 24 yard run. There we go. Then the next play, Mark Pando. Gets the toss and going to find the end zone. Now, here is a hit of the week candidate, Matthew. Abernathy. You don't know my name's Matthew. Daly gets rocked by Frey Diaz. Now, Abernathy in the red zone. Pando initially gets stopped, but cuts to his right for the seven-yard touchdown. Now, Sunray with the ball. It's going to be your favorite. Oh, Brotherton, where art thou? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ethan Brotherton. Yes. And he's going to go for a 35-yard carry. Almost takes oh. out Francis. Oh. Oh. And Abernathy getting the win over Sunray tonight, 34-19. to Stratford taking on Hale Center. This one was a nice matchup this evening. Going down over the Bidish round matchup. In the first quarter, we're scoreless. Brandon Castillo to Jose Ramirez on the jump ball. Castillo, lucky to have Ramirez because he comes down with the next play. Castillo rolling, finds Anthony Borjas. That's a touchdown, 7-0. Owls take flight. On the ensuing drive, though, Daniel DeCasas going to get the handoff. Check out the hurdle play, trying to pull out some Zeke Elliott. Slips a few tackles. A few plays later, Gage Brooks. He finds Pater. That would tie the game at seven. Stratford goes on to get the win by a final. Check this out, 53 to 13. They're going to face Post in the area round of the playoffs next week. 
Let's continue rolling tonight. We'll rewind to Thursday night. Memphis taking on Shamrock over at Randall High School. Coming off in their the, district championship. That's Memphis. right. In the first quarter, Nick Adame back the pass. Looks deep for Alisco Torres. He brings it down and almost took out my ACLs on the sideline. The very same drive, David Dixon takes the toss around the right side. He finds the edge and he finds the end zone. 6-0 after a missed extra point. Cyclones out in front later in the first quarter. Same score, Adame. Back to pass again, looking for his number one target, Torres, and he's got it wide open into the end zone. Two-point try was no good. 12-0 Memphis struggling with the extra points there later in the first quarter. Shamrock going to fumble on the option play, and it's Michael Casas who comes up with the recovery for the Cyclones. And on the ensuing drive, they would cash in 12-yard touchdown run for Dixon. Extra point no good again, 18-0 Memphis, but... Not really a factor tonight, last night rather, Memphis gets the win 38-7. They'll advance to take on Seagraves in the area round of the playoffs. Well, let's take you to a game last night being played at River Road. Clarendon taking on Wheeler. Now under three minutes here in the first quarter, Holden Guess going to find Traylon Drake. No new friends for the first score of the game. Then on the extra point, the Broncos would block the kick. I pick it up at the uh, halfway point there, but Cameron Smith going to return it there for the Broncos at TD to cut the lead to that four. That wasn't a touchdown. Well, if it was a block, that's two, point, two, two points. Two points. But still in the first guess, finds Levi Ware in the end zone. Put the stick. I lied. Cut that, cut that highlight out there. That was Daquan Oliver. Did you shoot this game? Yeah, Daquan Oliver picking up the big game. And then it's Oliver again who runs it in for the touchdown. The Broncos go up 14 to 10. And it'd be Wheeler who gets the win tonight. 20 last night. I can't talk clearly this evening. My bad, guys. Going Wheeler, well. yeah, it's going well here. It was a close game out there last night, let me tell you. But Wheeler wins this one 20 to 18. They will play Spring Lake Earth in the area round. Panhandle taking on Sundown. Sundown, there you go. Sundown. The Roughnecks. Mm -hmm. Gets on the scoreboard first here. Leighton Lamberson, we know that name. He decides to pitch to Colby Neely, who gets a nice block and takes it in for the early score. Then Rock Thomas there. This is a shot sheet from our friends down there in Lubbock. They really helped us out tonight, so we'll just be happy to have the highlights. This is an interception from the Sundown Roughnecks, and they would go on to, what was the final in this one? Let's take a look at it. 21 to 20, I believe Sundown is your winner. So Panhandle eliminated from the postseason. Let's go to Hoka and Farwell. This game also from tonight. Our friends down there in Lubbock help us out again. In the second quarter, Farwell out in front, 16 to 0. Ethan Stanzel going to fake the handoff and call his own number. Cuts back up the field and finds Paydirt. Farwell goes up 22 to 0 at that point. Then later, the Steers deciding to go for two. Leroy Cervantes going to get the handoff and Again, he'll put it in the end zone. Farwell rolled easily in this one, 59-6. to six. Let's take a look at one more score. We mentioned Seagraves will advance because they're going to play one of our other teams in the postseason. So 52-49, to 49, Seagraves eliminates Bovina from the postseason. So uh, a long night in 2A. <laughs> but nonetheless, we were happy that we got some help tonight and we were able to get all those matchups for you from top to bottom. And, and we're not even close to done yet. It's already... 20 minutes into the show, and we're just now making our way into 3A, so we've got a long way to go. We're going to recap our game of the week. We've still got some awards to hand out. Our final battle of the bands in that three-headed monster of a matchup, and of course, Bree's favorite, the fan of the week. So be sure and stick with us. We've got a long way to go right here on News Channel 10-2.